Hey, I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube lately about ball compression. You know, compressing the ball and all that stuff that YouTube instructors love to talk about. But I think in most of these videos, they're failing to mention a couple very big keys. So right after this, let's discover those keys and I think it's gonna help you and your golf game quite a bit. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. So I'm watching all these videos about compressing the ball and talking to a lot of golfers. They have completely the wrong idea about compressing the ball. Instead, what they like to do is talk about how you got to compress the ball like this. So all they're talking about is increasing the angle of attack and making it much, much steeper. In other words, most golfers out there and a lot of YouTube instructors are confusing compressing the ball with compressing the ground. So really hard to compress the earth. Give it a shot. Maybe locally you can compress it just a little bit. But the job of the club is not to compress the earth, it's to compress the ball. So how are we going to do that? Well, you've got to understand that compression of the ball is caused by a low amount of spin loft. So the most compression you could get out of a golf ball is with a zero degree driver hitting level at very high speed. You'd compress the ball the most. Doesn't matter what the divot looks like, that's how you compress the ball. Less spin loft, more speed. So if you wanted to take that, say, to this eight iron, in order to reduce the spin loft, you don't just have the hands forward. That does not necessarily reduce the spin loft, therefore, thereby increasing the compression. See, normally when people try in a rudimentary fashion to get the handle forward at impact, it also involves an increase in the angle of attack downwards, or the club gets really steep into the ground. Now this causes zero change in spin loft. Therefore, it's going to create virtually zero difference in ball compression. So instead, yes, you do want that forward lean because that reduces, well, it reduces what we would call dynamic loft. That's the loft that's being presented to the ball relative to the ground at the moment of impact. But instead, if you want to increase the compression of the ball, you'd have to come in with the same angle of attack or even a very shallow angle of attack like this. So here I've got a very de-lofted club and my spin loft will increase or decrease greatly because I'm coming in sweeping instead of gouging. So that's the trick. You're taking away spin loft because you're leaning it forward, but with not the complementary gouge downwards. Now, how are we gonna get that? That becomes the real trick. So, you can't just follow an exercise that gives you more forward lean. It's great that you're, maybe it's helping you make a divot in front of the ball, and that's great. But if you're still gouging downwards, you're gonna feel this slips slipping of the ball up the face and it's just gonna it's gonna go low but it's gonna spin a lot you're not gonna get that feeling of compressing the ball that nice solid feeling so instead I suggest you take a different course of action instead I propose to you that you do a swing where you try to get the swoosh out in front around to the left and upwards so rather than having any notion of hitting down on the ball, stop trying to hit down on the ball if you want compression. Yes, we've got a bottom out in front. Yes, we need forward lean of the club shaft, but we want to feel like we're hitting up. So this way and out in front, around to the left and upwards. Let me try one coming right at you here.
So my swoosh point, maybe I'm trying to pop a, pop a balloon right around here, just like that. Now we do that and we'll take a look at one in slow motion and wait till you see how much forward lean there is on the shaft at impact. So check this out, just a practice swing. Okay, so I felt like I was trying to pop the balloon forward, around to the left, and up, trying to hit, swing upwards. And you look at that in slow motion, you see quite a nice amount of forward lean as I come between my feet and into the ball. But yet, because I'm not trying to hit down on it, the hips and shoulders get tilted nicely. I'm directing the blow upwards, and it's going to cause the bottom of the arc, yes, to be in front, but a little shallower as it starts to turn from down to up and not quite have such a dramatic downwards hit at the ball. Now, with a ball, it might look something like this. Now on the screen up here in the corner, you can see the stats for that last shot. A very, very shallow angle of attack of only 1.3 degrees. And yet, I was able to get a very, very high smash factor for an 8-iron of 1.39. So that means the ball was not only hit in the center, but more than that, it was compressed because I was reducing spin loft by leaning the shaft forward but sweeping more. It felt like I was hitting up. You can see that I still hit down, but very, very shallow. Very mildly hitting down, only about one degree and change. Now, so keep that in mind. You want to compress the ball more, you got to reduce spin loft and increase club head speed. That's the only way, two ways that you can do it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps. I'm Steve. For hititlonger.com, I hope you'll go visit my website, and as usual, I'll either see you in the next video, or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.